Hello and welcome to more Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Last time we had a bit of a strange episode. Sorry if that one was a bit weird to watch, but well, we kind of had to play back to this point in the game, and along the way I collected up pretty much all of the notes from the first four game worlds. So if, you, if we go to our little status screen right here, you can see we've got 1,700 out of 1,900 notes collected. That counter right there only counts the notes from Showdown Town and the game worlds. It doesn't count like the little notes you get from beating missions, it doesn't count the stuff you get from Klungo's Arcade, or the Jinjo side quest, or the Bingo Palace. It only counts the stuff you actually physically pick up. Anyways, let's go and go to the theater district here. I guess go and go for some reason, but we're gonna go back to Logbox finally. We've kind of been doing lots of new game worlds and stuff, but we've got a lot of acts we have to go clear. So let's go and do Logbox 720 Act 4. Five Jiggy missions and three Jinjo missions. Now I mentioned this before, but all of the vehicles that we built when I tried to do this the first time. Oh, gosh dang it, Banjo, would you get up there, you crud? But all of the vehicles I built before when I did Logbox 4 uh, on my previous file before I had to restart, I still have all those blueprints, so we don't actually need to build any vehicles today, I've already got them all. I'll still try to explain, well, some vehicles are just completely inexplainable, you'll see, but... Well, I'll try to explain most of the stuff as we go so you guys can follow along, but here we've got Make the Wait! Let's go talk to Bottles here and see what we have to do. If only I had the muscle to push the polygon booster switches, I'd get this thing running like a real... Next, next gen machine! Um, Bottles, this thing is nothing like a regular console. It's running Xbox 360 discs, man. Well, Banjo, sounds like we'll be exerting ourselves on dear old Goggle Boy's behalf again. Yeah, we're kind of always doing that for him. Ahem! I admit my focus on the mental disciplines does tend to work against me in these situations. Yeah, I mean, Bottles is a bit of a smarty pants. But what we have to do is, there's gonna be a bunch of giant red buttons. I guess the polygon boosters, as he's calling them here. Those are gonna be just chilling around. As you can see, Bottles can't really press it. That's because we have to be super heavy. So you want to make a vehicle that's very heavy. You don't, you don't have to go, like, too crazy. It doesn't have to be, like, as heavy as you possibly can. But it needs to be pretty heavy. There's gonna be five buttons, and with each one you press, it has to be heavier than the last. So... Um, I can't really explain this vehicle, but this is the thing that I made. I called it the Flying Buttress, and apparently I don't have all the vehicle parts in this file. There must have been something from Humawamba that I needed to buy. Hopefully it will still work here. So, uh, here's my vehicle. Don't even, don't even ask what this crud is meant to do. Well, okay, well we've got a lot of sails, and the sails are basically an engine that don't require fuel, so they kind of let us fly along right here. But, yeah, I'm just gonna go along and hit these buttons. The giant propellers up top, I don't know what I was thinking with that. Honestly, they're probably going to crash a lot, but I'm just trying my best. I've also got some wings, I'll pull those out if I need a little more of a boost. And I've also got some balloons, again, if I need to go up a little bit more, I'll whip those out. But I'm gonna try to let the sails do most of the work. Right here, I'm getting shot quite a lot. That guy just knocked off one of my sails. That is not okay, dude. Wait, can I even fit through here? I can't even fit, dude! Oh my gosh! Wait, wait, wait. Oh, thank you! Holy crud, he broke it for me! That guy helped me out so much! I could have hopped out of my vehicle and edited it that way, but, I mean, why bother when the guy's just gonna do it for me, right? Oh gosh, turning around is not the easiest thing to do here, especially not with these enemies trying to mess up my day. Well, let's just turn back around, and we're gonna fly down towards the button number four. You might have noticed, if you were paying attention, I did hit the buttons out of order. Uh, you can hit them in any order that you want. I just find this order to be the most efficient. That's what we do for the speedrun as well. Although for the speedrun, we don't use crazy vehicles like this. I would highly recommend not making something like this. Just make something with a lot of engines, a lot of propellers, some heavy blocks. Um, you can weigh it down with sinkers or ammo if you want to, but... Uh, just do that with some wings, you'll be fine. One other thing to mention oh, is that this mission has a bunch of these red things. You might notice these red cube things next to the buttons. You could just put those onto your vehicle to weigh it down so you can get heavier as you go. And if you do that, you can start light, and as you go through the mission, you'll get heavier and heavier. So you could have like a, a box on top that you can put things in, or you could hop out and manually attach them. Anything like that will work. But that's going to be it for that one. That went a lot better than I was expecting, considering how stupid that vehicle was. But we're going to go across to this side here, try not to crash into too much stuff. Now this one, when I first did it, I didn't edit my vehicle at all. This time, I did decide to make a new vehicle, so I'll show you guys kind of what I did. Let's go talk to him real quick. Now this one, all we have to do is there's going to be some enemies just kind of chilling around. I'll just go and skip so he shows you what we're actually doing here. So there's going to be these enemies in different spots throughout Logbox, and they're going to be attacking these different chips. Well, grunt bots, of course. 
and we have to kill ten of them. They're gonna be in clusters of five, and I think there's three or four clusters, so we only have to kill two clusters to finish this one, so we don't have to get all of them. But yeah, as you can see, lots of grunt bots, so I'm gonna skip through here. So what I built, uh, actually let me, I, I just edited the tank vehicle. Let's go into the workshop so I can show it a little bit better here. Now this one, pretty simply, I took our tank vehicle and I made it a little bit less like a tank. I got rid of the egg turret, and I got rid of pretty much all of the body pieces, as you can see. But in place, I decided to add lots of engines. I have all the engines that we've got right here. Large engine there, four medium engines, a bunch of small engines. I also put more ammo because we're going to have to do quite a bit of shooting with this. And I've also got all five of my egg guns up front right here. So we're not going to burn through ammo. Ammer. We're not going to burn through ammo super fast with our egg guns. But having five, we want a little bit more. So I put a couple more ammos up on here. And with that, it should work out pretty well. Let's go give it a shot. You know what? I need to paint this thing. This thing looks gross right now. Uh, what color have I not used? I don't think I've used silver, so I guess we'll go do that. Is it just me or does the silver look kind of white? Oh well. I'm just gonna save it as the tank again. I didn't give the tank a good name because I wasn't expecting to use it again, but I guess we are. So here we go. Now there's one secret vehicle part to the right there. I'm actually not even sure what that is. It's probably more ammo, but let's go check that out real quick. And yes, indeed, there's some more ammo, so if you need more, then that's that. Uh, as the grunt bots attack the different ships, it will make the sound and the visuals and all kinds of stuff mess up. So if your ears are bleeding from this terrible sound, that's why. But yeah, we're just gonna go up here, we'll kill off all these guys. Let's get that big one killed. There we go. Oh, whoa, 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 backed up way too fast right there. Now, with these guys, you might accidentally knock them off the side. And which I just did right there. If that happens, don't try to chase them down. After a few seconds, they'll reappear up top, and then you can kill them again. I guess in this case, the guy just went up the elevator, but even if they didn't do that, they would eventually reappear. So don't worry about trying to chase them down. Their HP won't come back or anything like that. Okay, we got that guy. So now we're gonna drop down, and oh gosh, the sound is ridiculous, man. I'm gonna go across to here. I, I like this spot the best, so we're gonna go do this one. These guys are very easy to hit. There are some spots that are technically quite good, but the enemies jump around. Like, if you go down into that little section down there, the enemies are jump around inside there, so they're a little bit harder to hit, even though that section's technically a little faster to actually get to. So it's kind of a, just go wherever, it's not too hard of a mission, so you should be fine. You know what, let's go do some Jinjo missions. We've got a couple more Jiggies as well here, but I want to do these Jinjos just to get them out of the way. The Jinjos are pretty easy here. Although, I guess I gotta go... No, Red is down, so I think he's actually back here, way in the back, kind of hiding behind this little platform here. So let's go talk to him. This one is... a Jinjo Taxi Rear Steer. Okay. Now, as the name kind of implies, with the rear steer, it's basically going to be the regular taxi vehicle, but you steer with the back wheels instead of the front wheels. Now, with this, you could edit the vehicle, and you could change the wheels. If you guys know, you can, uh, you can target the little part with uh, the little cursor, and then you press right bumper to change it. You can change the back wheels to be basically driving wheels and the front wheels to be stirring. So you can kind of nullify the challenge aspect here. But I figure since we're kind of doing a challenge, I might as well stick with the theme. And I went the wrong way. One second. Don't mind me. Sometimes I just get sidetracked blabbering on about nothing. Yeah, what we want to do is actually go up here. I don't know where I was planning to go before, but we want to go up here and then kind of hook a turn and go around this way. Try not to crash into the enemies too hard because then the Jinjo might hop out. But you can see the checkpoint is up on the top level there, so we just have to get over to it. Not a very hard one to get to. We just go up this ramp, make a U-turn, and we're already up there. The, honestly, the rear steering, it feels a little bit different, but it's not too different from the regular vehicle, so... Personally, I don't see the need to take the time to actually change that. So, there's one Jinjo mission down, but we still got two to go. Let me call back my vehicle here. Ow! If I could not get shot, it would make this a lot easier. Okay, so there's one more Jinjo still on this level here, so let's go see if we can find him. There he is! Alright, a red Jinjo. I think this one's a Jinjo combat. Let's find out. It is... No, Jinjo hurling! Right, I remember this one. For this one, once again, we're going to use the boot vehicle. The whole boot in the box thing. I think I named it like the Hitmonlee or something. Uh, where did I save it? I think it's this one. There it is, okay. Now, you don't have to hit this guy very far, but there's a lot of walls here. So what we want to do is kind of get onto the disc, and we want to just line up the best we can. And once we're lined up, we're just going to stop moving. We're just going to oh, try not to get on the middle piece, because then it'll turn you. So we're just going to chill here. Let me get my boot out for sure. And then once we get to a point where I can shoot him forward, right about there! No, I missed! No! You crud! Okay, you gotta get a little bit closer than that. Let me try this again. No! No, no, no! No! Oh, hit him! Oh, I'm... Uh, crud. <laughs> I'm gonna get this crud. I'm going to get this crud. So what I want to do, this is what I've been trying to do. I want to line up, just like that. 
and then once the vehicle or once the disc turns all the way around to a good spot instead of just pressing the button I'm gonna drive up and press it so right there that's much better we should get 125 no problem there you go that's what I was trying to do I guess the boot in the box doesn't have quite as good a range as I thought it did so you want to line up and then drive forward and then hit it and that should work out pretty good so let me call back my vehicle once again. We'll go get the third Jinjo mission, and we still got three more Jiggies to get as well. So the Jinjo's a blue icon, so that means he's going to be higher up. Let me go, I guess, start flying up here. Probably should have done that Jiggy down there first, but the Jinjo's not too high up, it looks like. If I could stop crashing, that'd be fantastic. Yeah, he's actually right up here. He was very close to where we were before. No, wait, that's gosh dang Mumbo. Where the heck's the Jinjo? Oh, okay, so Mumbo's on the left over there. The Jinjo's over here on the right, and this one is Jinjo Race. I guess we'll see how this one goes. Races, they are longer than like speed missions and stuff, but overall I don't find the races to be too difficult, but let's go get out our Crud Mobile version three. Let's go ahead and hit start game and let's see how this one goes. I think for here, I'm gonna go ahead and stay as a ground vehicle. We could go to the air vehicle thing, but log box is a very tight area. So flying here is a little bit tricky. I mean, it's not the easiest to drive on either. So you could fly if you want to, but I personally find this one easier to drive on. So I'm gonna be doing that crud. So we'll just go up here, hook a left, try not to fall off. If we fall off, honestly, the Jinjo here is so slow, we might be able to fly back up in time, but it might be worth restarting as well. It's not a very long race. We just got to go through here and we're almost done already. I think right over here is the last checkpoint. Yep, right back there. Let's just get over there. And there you go. Mission complete. Okay, so we've got all of the Jinjos done. I guess let's go do some Jiggies now. So Mumbo is just chilling right here. Let's go ahead and do this one first. Oh. I try to drive to the side so they don't jump out of the way like that, because if they jump out of the way, it takes them a little while to reappear here. And even once they're back, it takes a second before you can talk to them. But, oh well. Here we've got you little squirt. This one, it's a pretty easy mission, but we'll get to that. Fans all seize up. Mumbo not find backup system to keep Glubber cool. Not even shaman magic save Mumbo from helpline chopping block now. Bear, have any ideas? I mean, I've got a little bit of an idea. A helpline operative with no idea, you're not doing much to shake off the stereotype, Mumbo. Mumbo, usually deal with high-end kit, half-price deal on maintenance tips if Bear and Bird help out. I don't know why I ended up with a question mark. Whatever, Boney, we'll sort out your battered old equipment and save the day, as usual. Come on, Banjo! Alright, Kazooie, let's do it. So what they're going to show us right here, well, I'll just show you guys what we have to do. So this one is a Log's Choice mission, so we have to use this particular vehicle here. But... There's going to be a few of these little things that are going to be red hot. So all we have to do is fly over and squirt them. Now we have to manage our squirt tank. We can't, we don't have infinite squirt. So what you want to do is squirt three times on these guys. Now you can refill your tank, like right here. If you go inside this pool, you can refill it. But it's going to save time if you only have to refuel once right there instead of having to fill up a second time. So all you do is tap the button. You can hold it to keep squirting, but I would recommend just tapping it. Just tap it three times and you'll get three squirts just like that and it perfectly does it however there's also a glitch with this one that I want to show off real quick you know we'll go ahead and beat the mission first and then I'll show you guys the glitch I don't even think I showed this glitch on glitch fest but it is very handy especially if you're having trouble getting the trophy or more importantly if you want to get a leaderboard time because everyone on the leaderboards is using the glitch so if you want a chance at actually getting on there you're gonna have to do it as well. So there's the mission defeated, but let me go show this glitch here. So what I'm going to do here, remember these things take three squirts to actually fully cool off. I'm just gonna do one, two squirts just like that, and we're just gonna leave it. I'm not gonna squirt on that anymore, and now I'm gonna go around the entire stage and do that to all of them. Well, I kind of goofed and accidentally fully cooled off two of them, but I can still show the glitch. So what we're going to do is squirt them, not all the way, but just part way, and then we're going to go and restart the challenge. And if you take a peek at the little icons that we're about to see, you can see the ones that I didn't goof on, they are still liquefied. So you can just go and squirt them once and you're done. So what you would want to do is do that for all four of them. So you can just fly by, boom, squirt it once and you're done. And just to show off that it's not just the icon glitching, it's actually the entire thing. Let me go up here and I think this one I can squirt just one more time and it should be finished. So let's just go up top here. Oh, get up there, Banjo. There we go. And I'm just going to squirt one time, and that should do it. There you go. So it is glitched completely. So just go around, do that to all four, and there you go. It looks like they kind of fill themselves up over time, or maybe just being near them fills them up. I'm not really sure what's going on with that. That's kind of bizarre, but anyways, let's get out of here. Well, we've got two more Jiggy missions to do. The first one here is very quick. I'm going to go ahead and just get past the dialogue here. Nothing particularly interesting, and it's going to be a very, very quick mission on its own. So let's go ahead and get out our ball sticker, and we're going to go down to start game here. 
Now this one, you could use the Liquid Squirter, because what we have to do is get this ball super wet. So you could equip the Liquid Squirter item to just kind of sit there and squirt at it. But what we're going to do is just stick it like that, and if we go far enough, it'll break it off the chain that it's stuck on. And well, we can just take it up to the little liquid pool right here, drop it in, and it'll just wet itself. See, we can just sit here, the mission's done, we can just chill for a little bit, and that'll be all there is to it. It's a pretty nice trick, it's a very easy one to get a trophy on if you do that tactic right there. And there we go. Alrighty, the last mission is all the way at the very top of Logbox, kind of where Grunty was during Act 3. So we're gonna try to fly up there without crashing. There we go. And there she is. It's Humba Wumba down here. Let's go talk to her. Again, nothing really too interesting dialogue-wise, so we're gonna skip past that. This one is going to be an air race. I don't know if we've done any air races uh, before. I mean, I've done ground races where I've flown, but... I don't know if we've had a specific air race, but let's go ahead and do this crud. Flying in logbox, however, can be quite tricky, so I'm gonna try my best not to totally goof here, but this one can be very, very easy to crash on, and I would highly recommend take this one slow and steady. It's only two laps, so really as long as you don't crash and totally lose your way, you'll probably get the trophy no problem, even if you're going super slow. So I'm just gonna kind of take my time here. I have practiced this one quite a bit for the speed run, so I can go a little bit faster without uh, messing up too bad. But there will be times where I'm gonna slow things down for sure. And now you gotta watch out right there, it's gonna be like an air pusher. But right here, make sure you swoop up, otherwise you'll totally miss this and go under it. And that's it, one lap is done already. As you can see, as long as you don't crash, this one goes by super, super quickly. So I'm just trying my best not to run into these chips. Especially, I don't want to run into the light bulbs kind of sticking out the sides, because those will not break off. You're just going to get totally stuck. You can even run into, like, the arrow TVs and pretty much everything. But, yeah, Humba Wumba's not going to give you a challenge in this one. It's really just a race against the clock. Kind of a race against yourself, as most of these races are. And there we go. Oh, crud! Crashing at the last second, but it's not going to matter. We're going to get through there. No problem. We're done! And that's actually going to be it. Logbox Act 4 is completed! Now, I think last episode I might have said we're also going to do Act 5. I'm going to push Act 5 back till next episode. And the reason for that is Act 5 is only two jiggies. And next episode, I want to do Banjo Land Act 5 as well. Banjo Land Act 5 is only three jiggies. So I feel like if we just did Banjo Land Act 3 next episode, it would be a super short episode, or Act 5. It'd be a super short episode, and I don't want to do that. So doing those two together, so we've got five Jiggy missions in total, to me that makes a lot more sense. So we're going to do Logbox Act 5 and Banjo Land Act 5 next episode. So I will see you all then. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to drop a like on the video if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Take care!